Um, uh, Kian Corla, Tanishta, um, I see that the government has published the Housing for All update on the government website today. Yesterday I met with two groups calling for one bedroom departments, young professionals trying to move out of house and Dublin Simon community desperately seeking one bedroom accommodation for rental. Um, there's, a, you know, I, I want to raise with you that they are asking about the status of the planning objection legislation uh, under the planning advisory forum chaired by Minister Peter Burke. Uh, I noticed that there's concerns about supply raised by deputies of my own constituency, not 500 metres up the road. There's 147 units with 51 one bedrooms, 67 two bedrooms, nine studios, 147 units in total, and objections going in left, right, and centre. Thanks, um, thanks very much, Deputy. And I, I see, the, see the CSO housing figures came out uh, earlier on today, which shows that 20,000 new homes um, were built in Ireland last year. Uh, not as many as we needed, but um, a reasonable performance given that construction was shut down for uh, a long period of last year and we'd anticipate to see that figure go up uh, well above 20,000 uh, this year. Um, we, need, we know that we need more homes of all types in Ireland, uh, large family homes, three beds, two beds, one beds, but the greatest shortage and the greatest need uh, is for one beds um, and that's why um, we need to make sure that we build a decent proportion of them as well. Um, uh, Unfortunately, there's huge numbers of, of objections to planning applications for new housing uh, in this city, in this country, for almost any reason, uh, and a huge number of judicial reviews. And the AG, with the Minister, is working on a reform to our planning legislation uh, to make sure that uh, it isn't so easy for people to hold up necessary housing developments for so long. Thank you, Dhanish. To 